Hi. I just unplugged my computer. I got, I got, I got. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. Happy Tuesday morning, November 1st to you all. Thank you, Rachel. Um, it's November. That is crazy. What are you all doing? Are you all going to start decorating for Christmas? When do you do that? Let us know. Um, if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. And Miss Rachel Langston is also an owner and craft educator here. And we love to craft. We love to chat. We love our community. Um, and we hope that you find some value here. Um, feel included and um, just kind of find your group. This is our group. We found our group. This we, is our group. This is our family. We love our crafty group. Um, let me look and see who's here. We and have a lot of people here and also happy birthday, Miss Maria, one of our very own. Happy birthday, Maria. Um, okay, I got it pulled up. We do have a lot of people here. Really quickly before we get started, um, we are having our live today at one o'clock because my family um, officially, not my, well, my family, my brother um, and his wife and two girlies officially adopted um, Abby Ray Myers this oh my morning. Gosh. So we were at her adoption and we were super excited. We're going to party tonight. Um, but I couldn't miss that. No. I was so amazing. So She's adorable. Important. Anyway. Yes. Um, so congratulations to Minnie Kinsey and the rest of our family. We are making a floating ornament today and I love floating ornaments. They're easy. They're so easy. They're adorable. They make great gifts. Let's go oh. to the overhead really quick so we can look at this. Um, this is just a plastic ornament. You can do this with glass ornaments as well. You do want a clear ornament so that you can see what's in there. But I don't. can you tell that there's a piece of stuff in there? What this is is transparency sheet. And then I have used a print and cut sticker to add a picture to this. Now, you could also... Um, put vinyl on this, like a saying or a graphic or something like that. You could do a double-sided image if you wanted to. You could use cardstock, a print and cut cardstock. However, because you have to roll it up to get it down in there, sometimes if you're using a cardstock or something like that, it doesn't unroll as well. So that's why I have chosen um, transparency. You can also use craft plastic. Um, and printable vinyl for this. And then I made some confetti to put down in here. And if we have time, I might make some today. Um, our amazing Beth Fitzgibbons sent us this Fiskars confetti making set after our <laughs> hysterical confetti issue <laughs> when we hit 10,000. So this is really fun. It has four little, um, what are they called? It's not a stamp. It's a is it a sample? Hole punch? Hole punch. Yes, punchers. Uh, to do different size circles, stars, just confetti pieces that, that are like so rectangles. flipping cute. And hearts. So I just made those and put them down in here. Um, and this is a really easy project. We are going to make the template here um, in Design Space. I'll show you how to do that and kind of give you my thought process on it. Um, these are the ornaments that we're using. These are larger ornaments and they're my favorite ones. Um, we get them at Hobby Lobby every single year. And we if, snagged these early. We did. Year. I was going to say, if you have not gotten them already, go grab some because um, I would say in the next couple of weeks, you're not going to be able to find them. And I got them 40% off of $7.99. So a little over $2 a piece, which is really affordable. And these are right at four inches. They're like 3.94 inches. So four ish inches is what we'll say. Um, so while we're still on the overhead camera, I'm going to show you how I measure for this. I, Lord knows how I would measure for it. So I'm really intrigued to find this out <laughs> because I know this is four inches. Um, I'm going to kind of just guess the size of the circle that I put here. Um, I, I would traditionally say 3.75 inches is what I would try. However, because it's actually four point or 3.94 inches, I think I would go a little bit smaller than that so that it doesn't get stuck and it doesn't open well. Yeah. But because it's transparency, I suggest, um, <sighs> playing with your size, cut one out, and then see if it fits down in there and then cut the other ones out. If you have to do a couple of different like variations of the size, it's not a big deal uh, to recut that. And then you're going to measure this right here, which is right at an inch. So I would probably do it at like 
seven eighths of an inch, so 0.875, so that the top of this, the top of the graphic that we're about to create will fit in there. And then the height you want to fit this way, I'm gonna pull it down here so I can see, is right at three eighths of an inch, uh, so 0.375. So that's kind of how I get those measurements. You can measure yours as well um, if you have a different size. Let me put this back in here. And then with those measurements in mind, we're gonna go into Design Space and work with what we've got here. So in Design Space, I'm going to grab a basic shape. Hold on just a second. Let me make my mouse a little bit bigger for you all. Oh, you're so kind. Oh, thank you. <laughs> For that uh, organic video the other day, guys, I made her max that mouse it was out. Like, it was so funny. It was it was this big, and then like you can't click. It's hysterical. No, it was so funny. I'm gonna make mine a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a basic shape from the shapes section right here, and I am going to make a circle, 3.675 inches, just like that. This is the circle that. We'll go down in our ornament. And then I'm going to grab a square from the basic shapes. And I'm going to size this so that the width is 0.875 and the height is 0.425. I said it was 3 eighths um, of an inch, but I, wanted, I actually uh, forgot that I wanted it a little bit longer because I make this a little bit smaller than 3.75, yeah, does yeah. that make sense? If, yes. if I made this, um, oh, it didn't keep my measurement here. If I made this part shorter, then it doesn't come up as far in the neck of the ornament as I want it. So that's why I chose these measurements. Now I'm gonna just pull this down here and I want to select both layers like this and I want to align center horizontally. And then I just want to zoom in and make sure that this is overlapping. So what you don't want to do, go all the way in, buddy. See how this right here is, let me make it bigger so you can see. See how it, it doesn't touch right here? I don't want that. So I want to just pull this down just until it touches on either side like this. Once it does, we're going to use one of our new fun actions. So let's select both of these. Traditionally, what we would have done is come down here where weld was and press weld. You can still do that. However, I am just going to press unite. So let's press unite, which does the exact same thing as weld, except that it is undoable. Now, if you are watching this and you have not seen a video or an update on the design space updates, this was one of them. They added these actions. Please go watch that video. It has a lot of great information. I don't want to go into it here since we do have that video. Uh, it's about a 14 minute long video, but it has really great information about that update. So check it out. Anyway, now I can size this back down because I sized it up so you all can see that to 3.675. Renee said that new update is strange. Renee, it is a bit to get used to, especially when you're so used to the old way design space works. Yeah. But I think in the long run, it makes it a lot more user friendly and re really good. Yeah. I mean, I think it was a really good update. A lot of cricket updates, I'm like, this makes no sense, but this one's been a good one. I, I, I was happy with the updates. Yeah. yeah I have to say that. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and create the picture that goes right here. So I've, I've went ahead and uploaded a photo of my kiddos that we'll use. So we'll add it to the canvas. And I want to size it down so that it's not ginormous. And then what I want to do is I can grab another basic shape and size it to 3.675 so that it's the same size here. Or because this is just united and not welded, I can just select this and duplicate it just like that. So I pressed, I selected, just the circle instead of the whole entire image. So just the circle and press Command C, Command V to copy and paste. And then now what I want to do is slice this out. 
but I can't really see what I'm doing here. So one way around that is to come up to operations with the selected and change it from basic cut to guide, which just gives us this awesome circle around here. Look at those sweet babies. Oh, How old were they? When was this? Uh, two or three years ago. So sweet. So what? Are so, they going to have pictures of Santa this year too? No. <gasps> Fallon just does not do good every year, so we're just not going to do it. Well, yeah. that's okay. Yeah. So once this is positioned on here where you want it, I have discovered, watch this, when I select both of these layers, the subtract option is not here. So you have to use slice, which I think is ridiculous. That's odd, Becca. Yeah, I think, it, well, it's because this is pixel based and this is vector, but I feel like it should do some sort of fun masking something. So I said in my video originally that I thought slice would become obsolete. Um, I, I hadn't tried this before, so you do have to still use slice for this particular um, action that you wanna do. Okay, so we're just gonna select both of these, press slice. And then we will delete the slice results that we don't need, just like this. And then we are ready to go. I don't have to merge this. I can leave it just like this and it's going to cut out as if it were welded. So I know that's a question that a lot of people have had and did wanna just point that out. Um, I am ready to go ahead and click make it. And then I'm going to choose on the mat for my material settings here and Let's go ahead and do the printed part. I have printable vinyl somewhere. What is it? I'm just gonna use this Dakota because I think this is the last piece in this thing. No, it's not. We love Dakota. We do. But we like the HTV romp better because it's a better price and it's for all intents and purposes. You know what I mean? For all so, intents and purposes. Thank you. You're it's welcome. It's basically the same stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna print this out. I am using the um, add bleed option and the system dialog box option so that I can increase my print quality here. Increase it to best, feed from the rear tray and print out. And I can go ahead and select the I'm gonna choose craft board as my material setting for this because I want it to cut all the way through the backing and everything, not just a kiss cut, uh, but an actual die cut for the stickers. So let me see, while that's printing out, let me see what you all are saying. Are there any, is there anything I need to um, address? Or well, Heather like is so sweet, like a lot of our amazing viewers. Yes. That wants to remind everybody to like the video guys it's free to like and subscribe to us and it helps us so much yes. so just like our wonderful friend heather mentioned take two quick seconds free to you and like and subscribe to this channel if you have not already thank you heather yeah thank you okay i'm just braying this down and i'm gonna go ahead and place it in my cricket here and then it will cut out momentarily after it reads his registration marks and does all of that fun stuff. Uh, so while that's cutting out, if you wanna go to the overhead, we'll talk about the uh, transparency film that I'm using today. This is just the old school transparency sheets that you would use with um, projectors from school or church or whatever. It's totally clear, it's not frosted at all, shiny on both sides. Um, and that's what we're using today for the um, the floating part of the ornament. I was trying to see, I thought I had one that was left. So I'll use probably just my light grip mat for this. Um, and also while that's cutting out, we can go ahead and look at this right here, our confetti. From Fiskars, I'm gonna use these. I thought the different circles were really good. And then I just took a shimmery metallic-y piece of cardstock because it was this way on both sides. I wanted to do a fun glitter cardstock, but it was white on one side, and so that was ugly That's on one boring. side. Yes, Rachel, what was your question? Question. Yeah. Miss 
little bit, cute name, says, yeah. what is the importance of braying the material down on the mat? Oh, that's a great question. So the importance of that is that sometimes when we use our mats, um, they get a little unsticky or we have a material that doesn't stick really well to it and braying it down just makes it stick better to the mat so that it doesn't come up um, when it's cutting. So that's a great question. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this from the mat and because I'm cheap and I didn't use this whole sheet, I'm going to save this sheet because I can print out some other things on this other side by just feeding it through my printer the other way and then um, using that piece for another project. So, and Becca, yeah. Miss Penny always has to put tape over the corners on the registration marks uh -huh. for the Cricut to ever read them. Well, that's sad. It might be de it might be the paper you're using or it might be your Cricut. I would suggest getting some canned air or like a, a very light soft bristled brush and trying to brush off that sensor down there because maybe there's something on it that's not making it as sensitive. Yeah, that's a great... Um, just a thought. Um, I did braid the transparency sheet down and there at, is actually a transparency setting. Let me show them. That. Okay. Yeah. So browse all materials, transparency. There it is. I did more pressure because I think we need a new um, blade. And then it will just do one swipe all the way around with the regular fine point blade. It um, does really well. That is so stinking cute. Isn't it adorable? It's satisfying too. I don't know if I'll do as much as I did on the other one, but we'll see what happens. I love that if you don't find confetti, like for to sprinkle on tables for a party or something, like the that colors you like, and stuff that you like, you can get paper that you like at Hobby Lobby or the craft store and use that. I love it. Yes. That. Or I bet you could do tissue paper back, like patterned tissue paper. Yeah. That'd be really cute, too. I want something that would be metallic, though. You know, yeah. like shimmery on both yeah. sides. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. That cut really quickly. We'll just pull this off like this. That looks really good. And then what I want to do to place this down is I'm going to take my true control knife and I'm on the back going to just do a cut that doesn't go all the way through. It just goes through the back. You might want to practice that. See? So it comes up like that. It didn't go through. And then I want to place the part that still has the backing up like this. So it's not stuck down yet and I can still move it around and get it placed exactly where I want it. Now it's stuck down because I was moving it too much. So the point of this is, I think I should have probably just done the bottom part instead of all of that. But the point of this normally is to get it really, really straight like this. Then you're going to rub down on this bottom part Then you pull this part up, remove it, and lay it down. And now you have a perfectly applied sticker. Um, that, yeah, that's just how I do it. Could you take the same photo and put it on the other side so it would be double sided? Yes, you could. That's cool. Also, um, Crystal <laughs> said, I feel like Becca's trying to set some kind of record for convin convincing me to buy something. I've only been here a few minutes and want those little punchers bad. Oh my gosh, that's Kari, hysterical. Kari or Carrie said, I have those paper punchers and haven't used them in years. I was just getting ready to de stash them and don't now do it. This. Don't do it, Carrie. Let me finish these. Um, are, if there are any questions or anything, Rachel, now is a good time that we can chat about it. And then we'll put this together. We're almost finished with this. Um, Kat said, made a comment up here I wanted to mention. She said, off subject, but I bought some of the Color Shot spray paint from Walmart today, and it seems to work really well on wood. Nice. That's good to know, Kat. What kind of nozzle is it? Is it just like an old school nozzle, or does it have that long, this, this one? 
Oh, I don't have one because I threw them all away because I hate them. They get stuck. It's more like a spray bottle than a spray paint can, if that makes sense. Okay. Let's do this one again here. I'll probably just do this one and then call it a day because I don't want to bore you all with making confetti. <laughs> I don't think they're bored. It's really cute though. Thank you. Rach, tell them what you did this morning. Where I went? Yeah. So I ran to Walmart again, guys, and loaded up on their brand new Christmas dollar spot stuff. She got some really cute stuff. I got some really cute stuff. I have a, a feeling they're going to put out more later on, like in a couple of weeks, which means all we get to do is make another video for you guys. But that's what we're going to do this Thursday. I just scheduled the stream. You can go over there. Uh, I think I scheduled it for noon. Um... So, sorry about the lives being weird times this week, but that one's scheduled for noon. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be showing you guys those brand new Christmas Dollar Spot products. Rachel, remind me, because the last time we did this video, there were comments that not everyone's Walmart had a Dollar Still, Spot. Still, yeah. Yes. Some well, of them have commented and said, one popped up in my store, finally. But a lot of people still don't have them, which is didn't crazy Didn't somebody comment and say that all of them were supposed to have them by some date? The Am end of I November making that is what up? they said. Okay. I'm hoping that that's still true. But... But... It's fun nonetheless. Yes. I'm getting excited because if you don't remember, I didn't really get to decorate my house last year for Christmas because I was busy renovating a studio. Um, and so I'm pretty excited and I can't decide when I'm going to start at the house. My kids would do it now. I mean, they both slept in a Santa outfit last night. So there's that. I love that. Yeah. And a little bit. Usually they're at the right in the front of the store when you walk in. Now, usually there's two entrances entrances in Walmart. It's not the one with, with the, the grocery. Yeah, yeah, it's the other one. I feel like it's a home. Something. Yes. I don't know. Yeah. It's usually that entrance, and it's right there, right when you walk in. I still want to do a Target one, too. I want to do a Target one. We need to do uh, a bunch of those, which we have to go to Knoxville here. Yeah. It's about 45 minutes away from where we are. The only craft store we have here is Hobby Lobby. And we have to travel anywhere to get anything good. It's like Target and all that. Joann's, Michael's, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Kirkland? Kirk What's that one place called? Is Kirkland's, it Kirkland? yeah. Yeah. I haven't been there in forever. Me either. We have an outlet in Pigeon Forge, which is about an hour from us. Um, but they normally have really good stuff there. Are y'all bored yet? You want me to stop? I'm, I'm not bored. Okay. Uh, Renee said, we have eight Walmarts and six neighborhood market Walmarts, and none of them have a dollar spot. Where do you now, live, Now, the markets Renee? won't have them for sure. Right. But if if all those Walmarts are in your one town, I'm concerned. Eight Walmarts. Yes. Where do you live? I'm concerned. Fourteen in total, counting all of the neighborhood markets. We have a neighborhood neighborhood market, and then they opened another one and shut it down in less than six months. So the building is just decrepit and condemned here in town because there was I, like a gas station and everything. I think they put it in a bad spot. It was a little bit of a rough spot. We I went think. there all the time. Did you back? We up? did. I don't know. I don't think it was the best spot, but it's just sitting there because what else can a Walmart be other than a Walmart? So. I don't think it's for sale. I don't know what they're going to do with well, it. Well, here's the problem. The problem with the location was that it was in the middle of town, and there's not there's not a lot of residential in the middle of town. True. So it's all commercial. the residentials on the east or the west end, exactly. and there was an east end full-size Walmart and a west end. So Full-size, yeah. It's, yeah. Now, the, the neighborhood market on the east end on Buffalo Trail is in a fantastic it spot It is in a right fantastic there. spot. You're it's right. It's a great spot. Um, Renee said she's in Fayetteville, North Carolina. That is wild, Renee. Becca, I'm just starting, not this weekend, but after next, starting early makes all the effort feel like, feel more worth it. It's a multi-week process at my house decorating for Christmas. Man, if it doesn't get done in one day, it's not happening at my house. Same. But kudos to you. Yeah. Like, I bet your house looks like a winter wonderland. I bet you have, like, uh, 
Christmas stuff on the back of the toilet seat and all that. Like I that do kind that. of stuff is do you back up? Yes. Uh, no, I don't. I, don't I have do a that. toilet plunger Christmas tree on my guest bathroom toilet. Well that is phenomenal. Yes. Okay. So I have washi tape here. <laughs> you can also you can use anything. But I have it here just to, to keep it good and steady. And then what you want to do on this is just gently roll it like this do not crease it but roll it so that the tab is right here and then like a little burrito. yeah we're just gonna put it in there let it open up let it flatten out it should rotate a little bit but not be short so short that like this tab goes down in the neck you don't want that i could i could take this out if i want to just by pulling like this and gently pulling it out and then you can put it back in it's very easy to do that. Um, and then to put this in, I'm just going to create a fun funnel here. Fun funnel. <laughs> Robin said 45 minutes to Target. I would be lost. Yeah. Here's the thing, Robin. Sad. We don't know what we're missing because it's we don't sad, have sad, Robin. Here. I would love a Target here. Word has it. We're supposed to be getting one, but I won't believe it until, until it's here. Until I see it. Until I see that Target This dollar. paper is too thick. I'm digging in the block. trash can. Yeah, she is. Yeah. That's okay. okay. We'll use this. Me and James, when we were just dating, we used to drive all the way to Pigeon Forge to go to Olive Garden because we thought that that was just oh Olive Garden. Yeah, that's bougie what, and what we wanted to do. And now that we've had one here, we've probably went five times. <laughs> now that we have one in town, it's like anything outside of town is is lucrative. Like you want to go, it's so special. Yeah. But then you get it in town, you're like, meh, I don't want to eat there. I'm making a little funnel here and then I'm just going to funnel this stuff in here. Well, you know, what? let me get this in my hand first. You're cracking me up. I guess I could have taped my funnel to make my life a little bit easier. Oh, wow. This is a lot. <laughs> You're doing great. Thanks. Thanks, pal. Kat said, I just want a Trader Joe's. See, they're close to Trader Joe's. is about an hour yeah, away as well. Nice we have nothing nice here. There we go. Okay. I'll put this in my hand here. Don't unravel on me, funnel. You can put glitter in this too. I have found that if you do really fine glitter, that it sticks to the sides Ooh. of the ornament. And I don't like that. So that's why I've chosen not to. I've also used tiny little bitty um, felt balls, like little pom-poms. Oh, that sounds cute. That looks adorable. I feel like it would be kind of cute when... You could put snow in when here. When the glitter would stick to the side. Well, then you can't see the picture if you put too much in there, though. That's true. Now I'm just going to put this guy back on here, which I got to be honest, I'm sort of all thumbs when it comes to these. See how... <laughs> Jen asks if you could put the confetti in first. You could. I just chose not to. <laughs> we have Look. a friend here that says Olive Garden Italian McDonald's pass. It is. It's very true. It is the Italian McDonald's. <laughs> That's hysterical. But since it was 45 I minutes still away, love I thought it was. Five cheese eighty. I don't care. Listen, I just, I'm so boring when I go there. I usually just get the fettuccine Alfredo. That is boring. I know that. They used to have this um, mushroom dish. I cannot find it on the menu anymore, though. It was really good. It was mushroom ravioli. Delish. The last two times I went, I literally just ate the salad and the breadsticks. Ugh. And I was loving it. Oh, I did get the five cheese marinara. Oh, yeah. To dip my breadstick oh, in. Yes. Yeah. That I treat myself good. to a breadstick. All right. This is just a simple bow like you would tie on your shoes but if you fluff it it'll look cute so the key to fluffing a bow is to not make it tight yet see how this is still really loose don't make it tight if you make it tight there then you're not gonna be able to fluff this part it's gonna look yucky now you can tighten it up still fluff there and then I'll cut the ends of this. So the way that I cut them, which I'm sure most of you do, is fold it like this and then do a V. 
from the center down so that we have that V. That's actually a little bit rough. <laughs> and then do the same thing on this one. Oh, Kat wants to know if Jew would work for this, Becca. Mm, oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. There we go. How cute. Floating love ornaments. It. Love them. I love Super it. easy. I know that you all are going to be making these because they're addictive they really are it's like it's like a, a huge win and here's another thing that you could do which would be really 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 cute if you have friends who have just had a tiny baby get their handprint put it on something um you could even do cardstock if you wanted to put it on there but i would do like create an svg or png or something like that out of it um and then put their name on it and stick it on here and put it in there and it could be like baby's first ornament That's so cute so adorable anyway what do you all think? They love them. Michael Thank loves you. it. Thank you. Super fun. Did you all catch the new cut files that were released yesterday? They were put in the Dropbox. So if you are an Oak and Land member and have not seen those yet, they're over in the private Facebook group. If you need help finding the link, let me know. We can help you out with that. Uh, they are Christmassy. Let me just show you really quickly a couple of them. Um, one is this file right here. Let me show you a couple different ways to do it. Um, and it comes like this. So there's three different layers. So what you would do is paint this like a dark green. This would be like a light green. And then this would be like black or white or something. So it's sort of like a mandala, but not complex. And then you have a really cute layered sign. So you can make this as so big cute. or as little as you wanted. You could actually make this an ornament if you wanted to. In fact, one of my craft files yesterday, I was making it an ornament. I took an offset of this and cut through all three layers. And then um, I had a little issue, but that's going to be an ornament eventually when I clean my Cricut and it, or my Glowforge and it will cut correctly. Anyway, so that's one way to use this file. The other way was the ornament. And then you can also do this by getting rid of this layer and cutting a layer like this. And then we'll place this here. So I would paint, well, actually, you don't, I would paint this like a green color or something. We're gonna pretend that this is painted green. And then you can put like sweater material or this fun, this is a um, flannel fabric. And then you would layer this on top like this paint this a fun color, and then you have a really cute, so cute project that way. So that's a third way to do it. Fourth way to do it is to make a card with it. So you just extend this layer, and I'm gonna actually do a live on this in the next couple of weeks. You extend this so that it's double the width, and then create it the same way that you do. So I've got my card base, and then I have two pieces of craft board that look similar to this. And then I cut a piece of fabric and put it in here and then place this on top. So there's lots of different ways to use those files. I'm really excited. Here's another one of the files that was released. Um, you can make this as big or as little as you want. Dear Santa Christmas list. And then you customize it with the kid's name. That is so cute. Slay Mel, the little reindeer, and then this little North Pole post office. And the way that this works is it's three pieces like this. So this is like your spacer. You glue all this together and then the kids write their Christmas list to Santa and put it in here. You can also use this as an ornament name tag. That's what we do. We put it on the, not ornament, um, stocking name tag. Oh, how cute. We put our kids on their stockings. Um, so that's really cute. We have a fun like magic key for Santa um, that has a little, like, you know, if you don't have a... Fireplace. fireplace then how is Santa get in well you put a fun little magic key and there's like a little um lock that's in with the cut file and you can customize it with the family name so different files like that that are really fun um that were released yesterday they are free to all Oak and Lane members and if you would love cut files like this um if you would love education on how to manipulate cut files like this how to create crafts like this 
we're here for you here at Oak and Lamb. Uh, we do this all the time. We love it. It's our passion. And we have built an amazing community here of people who also love it. So join the flock. Uh, click the link Rachel has shared with you all. And let us know if you have any questions about it. We have a friend here, Miss Daisy. And it is her very first live with Hi, us. Daisy. Welcome, welcome, Welcome. Daisy. We're so happy that you found us. And Miss Crystal's asking how all of our Halloweens went. Uh, she said, how was Beckett and Fallon's Halloween? And Rachel, how was Baby Charlie's first Halloween? My Monday was a SHI it show it was terrible I've been in a bad mood for about a week like honestly a really bad mood um, and I let myself wallow in that last night so I sat in my bed and watched TV I'm just being honest which is I think fine just sit and have watched TV I mean you, you gotta do what you need to do sometimes. I'm just being honest yeah I wish that I could be honest and tell you that I was a fun mommy uh, but I wasn't Listen, they went trick-or-treating. They trick-or-treated their did. hearts out at yes. the camp trip. Like, they, you know, yeah. Yeah. And baby Charlie, he was a little skunk. Uh, he did great. Of course, it was the first Halloween, so we were driving all around Timbuktu yes. to take him to all the family's houses. You know so where could, you didn't bring him? Where? To your house? Here? To, I'm trying to guess. Which one? I didn't see him. Well, if I thought it would have made your horrible Monday better, I should I should have waited on three hours to show him to you. If I thought it would have made you, I should have guilted you really. Bad you should have. Yeah. I would have brought him. No problem. He was so cute. I got pictures. He was adorable. I love him. He oh, was burning word. up though. It was like seventy yesterday, <laughs> so he was hot. Uh, but no, yeah, we had a good time. Yes. Thank you all for asking. Um. Yes, everybody knows about the key. That's awesome. Rachel had no idea. I did not know. I didn't yeah. know. Um, yes, they need pictures, Rachel. Crystal, I just posted them on Facebook. Go Cap check it out. said, Becca, my Monday was grumpy. Everything irritated me yesterday. So I literally text Cat. I felt bad about dumping on her and just told her about every terrible thing that had happened to me in the hour and a half leading up to that. She was a champ. She let me vent. She also gave me permission to go home. That's good. She did. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I shut out all the lights and stayed in my room watching Netflix crying as well. I didn't oh, cry, Gail. Gail. I was mad. I was That's really, awful. I was just, I was just mad. Um, no crying. No crying. Charlie was the cutest skunk I've ever, yes, Megan. He is. I love him. My goodness. Linda says 92 watching and only 38 likes. Thank you, Linda. Oh, now we have 59. Well, we're incredible. Thank you for hitting that like button. Um, if you are not a subscriber, I think Rachel's already mentioned it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's free for you subscribe. to do. Subscribe. Yes, Miss Daisy, you if this is your first and you're not a subscriber, we would love to invite you to subscribe. Ooh. Jen said, are the new files for Dropbox in a dated folder? They are, yeah. So I put them under 103022, and then I also categorized all of them into the correct category. So I put them, the Glowforge ones in Glowforge. All of the Christmas ones are also in the Christmas folder. There's a 3D one. Oh, oh, oh. The file for the Polish star ornament that Miss Maria shared with us is also in there. Um, it's in the folder under 1030, and it's also in the folder um, under, I think, 3D cut files so yes make those it's really fun I'm gonna do um I'm gonna do I can't decide if I'm gonna do it live or if I'm gonna do organic but a member only for you all on the star so what I'll do you have to make nine layers or ten layers I can't remember now <laughs> ten and I'll make all of them but one and then we'll do one together and then I'll show you how easy it is to put them together so um it's it's a lot of repetitive stuff but it's a really awesome project and Maria did such an amazing job um, explaining how to do it and how to put it together um, that I want to I want to do it with you all she did a great job um, a good cry lifts so much weight off of you no shame in crying at all hey no absolutely oh, do what absolutely you need to do. trust us my problem is that um, if I'm talking to someone when I'm angry, then it makes me cry. And then that makes me even more it angry mad, that I'm yeah. crying. Yeah. <laughs> I get really mad. I hate crying. For I hate, I hate to cry. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't bother people when people are crying, but for Becca. Oh, Carrie, thank you. Um, She's wearing her pirate earrings, too. <laughs> We went to, I only ever wear my diamond stud thingies that I have. I bought them forever ago before kids, and I just, that's what I wear. Um, 
And we went to Magnolia, we went to Waco, and Anna was like, here, you can wear these. Or I don't remember how it came up, but she had some like these. And I was like, can I wear those? So I got to wear them and I fell in love with them. And I came back and purchased some. Everyone needs some good hoops. And Wayne was like, where'd you get those pirate earrings? So funny. Like, you remember my hoops on my, uh, my first license? Now, Rachel, <laughs> I thought they were going to be worse. They're not much different than these. They're big. They were a little bigger. They, yeah, no, no, no. They are. Just they are the bigger. Hair. They are bigger. Yeah. My was ears. it the gold eyeshadow that really put it over the top for you? I don't. It's the tan and the sure, whole sure. like double chin and the. I need to. I need to show you guys. I need to blur out <laughs> the information and show you guys because you guys would die. It's. It's actually. Wait, is that the one that it's actually a good picture? It's not a whore. It's not a horrible. I mean, it's a picture. terrible angle. I just of you, look but... ridiculous. Well, I look like a sixteen-year-old. Because... They, like, make you sit down, which nobody looks cute sitting yes. down. And then the camera's like this. I was trying to extend my neck, and she told me to put my chin down. So then she gets extra chins when she asks me to do that. I always look like I have a beak. It's really weird it's how my horrible. nose is. It's so it weird. It takes the worst pictures of you ever. So funny. Thank you, Brenda. That is so sweet. Um, anyway, thank you all for being here with us today this has been fun we will be today's tuesday we will be live over in the private facebook group tomorrow uh wednesday i don't think it's scheduled i'll do that um it'll 10 30 is good for you still right yeah. tomorrow okay yeah 10 30 tomorrow in the private facebook group for flock members only so join if you want to um and then we'll be live on youtube here again on thursday and rachel think it sits at 12 o'clock Yes. Check check the schedule. And then also, uh, we have already announced it. It is already on the schedule. But if you do not have plans for Black Friday, we will be live on Black Friday um, celebrating with you all. We hate Black Friday shopping, so we'd rather craft with you all. Much rather. Much rather. So we have three awesome crafts scheduled for that day. We're really excited. Um, and just want to craft with you all and spend Black Friday with you. So um, put that on your calendar. It's at 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, so if you do like to go Black Friday shopping, you can still do that and then come craft with us. Yes. Yes. Have a fantastic oh, Tuesday, everyone. <laughs> and we'll see our flock tomorrow.